everybody, my name is Davy, and welcome to Bacanasaur. Wow! I thought I'd tell you guys a little bit about my reading plans for the next month. So as you know, I've been making my way through the women's prizes for nonfiction and fiction. Um, and I was getting a little bit burnt out. Then I pick up a few additional books, um, and hopefully I'll get to them this month. I might not, um, it might take me a little bit longer, but I wanted to share them with you guys anyway. So the first book, I've had my eye on this one for a while at the bookstore. Every time I saw it, I was really drawn to the cover, um, so I finally picked it up, and that is The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. This book won the Booker Prize in 2013, and it is a chonky book. I'm not afraid of a chonky book. I actually like them. It's about, let's see, like 800 pages, just over 800 pages. Um, this book is about the gold rush in Australia and it's a historical fiction. Eleanor Catton just wrote Burnham Wood, uh, which came out this last year. Um, and so I wanted to read this before I read Burnham Wood. The next book I got is Piglets by Lottie Hazel, and this just came out, and it's about a couple who's about to get married, and I think there's some infidelity that happens, um, but a lot of it has to do with food, so I love reading about food for some reason. <laughs> uh, food fiction, yes. Um, yeah, so that's what this is about. The next book is Acts of Desperation by Megan Nolan. Can I show this on YouTube? I don't know. Uh, I'll hold it like this. <laughs> so, Acts of Desperation is about a girl who's in love with a beautiful man, and it's sort of about their relationship and what's going through her head. And what Megan Nolan does so well is her character development. Um, I think it's so beautiful. I'm about uh, 50 pages into this, and so far not a whole lot has happened, but we get so much character. Um, and it's really incredible. Acts of desperation walked so that ordinary human failings could run. Um, you can see how much her writing has developed um, in ordinary human failings and how much the character in ordinary human failings, Carmel, is similar to the main character in this book. The next two books were kindly sent to me by the publishers um, and I wanted to share those with you guys. The first is Modern Fairies by Claire Pollard. This book is about a group of people in Versailles during the 1600s um, and I'll just read you a little bit of the back. Each week, a rogue group of intellectuals gathers at her Parisian home, debate, flirt, and perform contes de fées, fairy tales that challenge the status quo at a salon that will change the course of literature forever. Um, yes, please. Also, this cover, it's everything I didn't know I wanted in a cover. It's amazing. <laughs> Next book you probably heard of, and it's been making its rounds on the tube, uh, and that is In Memoriam by Alice Wynn. Um, and this is another historical fiction. Honestly, I don't know much about this. I've just heard it's really great, and some people love it, some people don't, so. We'll see, I'd, I'd really love to give my opinion, but I'll do that after I finish it. The next three books I got from the library, and the first is Shuggy Bang by Douglas Stewart. This book won the Booker in 2020, and I read Young Mungo by Douglas Stewart, and I really loved it. Um, I will give a disclaimer that there are some really difficult parts to read in Young Mungo, and I'm expecting there to be some difficult things in here too, just based on my previous reading of this author. Yeah, I really loved Young Mungo. As much as you can love a horrible story, I thought it was really beautifully told. Um, I love the character of Mungo um, and his family dynamics, so I'm excited to read Shiggy Bang. The next book I got is Juno Loves Legs by Carl Geary. I watched a video from Cat's Field Notes, and <laughs> she was so passionate about this book, I had to run out and get it immediately. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm really excited to read it. Um, I think it's about kids in a Catholic boarding school. And the last book I got was a Prophet Song, which I'll put up a picture of the cover here because I forgot to grab it when I was gathering my books. Um, but I got that from the library as well. Um, and that's by Paul Lynch, and it won the Booker last year. Alrighty, that's my very quick update of uh, my reading. I'm uh, 
partially through acts of desperation and the luminary. So I will be slowly making my way through this while I finish up this. Oops. This and um, yeah, and hopefully I get to some of these other ones. I'm definitely gonna prioritize some of my library books. And I'm also making my way slowly through the Women's Prize books as well. Um, I just needed a little break and a little breather from them. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to update you at the end of the month when the shortlist comes out for the Women's Prize for Fiction. Please like and subscribe. Um, let me know, have you read any of these books in the comments? Um, I'm really happy to discuss that. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.